and actually do a little bit of an unboxing stream. Hopefully you guys are off to a good start for the week. And I actually received a box from my buddy, Beer Man. It's a good size box. I mean, this baby is a good, decent size. So I actually had a, won a contest over on his channel. And he decided to, uh, I guess he sent me the prizes and everything. So I'm kind of interested to see what's all in the box. So I thought I'd do a little live stream to actually share this stuff to let you guys know what I did pick up. Hey, Erie, how you doing this evening? Cheers, my friend. But if you're not familiar with the Beer Man, you need to make sure you check him out. The Beer Man's got some pretty cool stuff happening over on his channel. And you can actually... Uh, Check out in description. I've got a link to the channel, but we'll take a little look at his promo here. Hmm. What should I try next? Yeah, the beer man's got it going on in his trailer. Makes me want to get my trailer back up to speed again. But uh, his videos always have great editing. Cheers, Alan. Eclectic Beard in the house. And if you guys haven't seen the Eclectic Beard channel, we will be over there at 9 o'clock to talk the, uh, I guess, the last college football talk that we'll have on a Tuesday night. So make sure you check him out as well. But, um, yeah, so that's the beer man's channel. And he sent me the box that I'm going to open up here. And... He didn't tell me it was going to be as big of a box as it actually is. Like I said, this is pretty good size. I'm going to get my letter opener. And my letter opener, <laughs> I mean my knife. So I got that right there. Pretty neat looking knife. I take that. That's pretty cool, pretty cool looking. I don't even remember where I got this one at, but got a few in the knife collection around the house, so to speak. Man, this thing is big. Got the good taping on it. It's pretty light though, so not too heavy. He says I'm th he thinks I'm going to dig what's in here, so we shall see. Don't ever do this at home. You always cut away. I'm cutting towards myself. Don't do that. I'm a professional, but you always want to cut away so you don't cut yourself and end up in one of the urgent cares, you know what I mean? Nobody wants that to happen. Put this to the other side. He put some good amount of tape on here, I tell you that. Beer time with the beer man. All right, so I got this baby open here. And let's take a look. Get the knife put away first. Don't want that laying around anywhere. Could be a box of boxes. You know, I did think it could be some type of Russian doll type thing here that he may have set me up for. A lot of orange packaging. <laughs> oh, that's pretty neat. He sent me something for the munchies. As if I need more candy, right? Big old bag of M&Ms. Definitely check those bad boys out. What is in here? Ooh, it's got a nice aroma to it. I won't tell you what it smells like, but I don't think that's in the bag. I just think it happened to just be in the air, so to speak. Um, I think he sent me a beer inside of here. Look at that bubble wrap. He really wrapped that baby up. But I need a little bit of music while I actually do this here. I was going to do a little music, but my thing doesn't want to work right. Anyway, screw it. It was working a second ago. I'm going to actually set the box down here. And get into this thing. See what it is. 
Bet we can guess. Yeah, you guys guess why I try to open it here. Because this guy packed it up like he's sending keys out of Columbia. <laughs> Beer Man's got it all packed as well. Yeah, man, you go get the yay yo. Serious rap taking place here. Serious. <laughs> Beer Man's getting some good stuff out of Oregon, I tell you that. Hey, Blake, what's going on, brother? Oh my god, Blake, if you smelled this package, you'd be like, oh, that is that's some primo stuff that Beer Man has. So, we're down into here. Let's see here. All right, so this is a beer. It's a whole lot of rack to get to this baby. Check this out. So this is Boy Beer Company or Bowie Beer Company IPA. You see that right there? So that's one of the beers he put into the package. And it says Proud Bold Beauty, full of flavor. This Northwest IPA is proof that you can go big without the bitter bite, nothing overboard, well balanced, and lovely dry hopped with Meridian and Crystal Hops. For a rich citrusy finish, beer with a backbone, born from a place where a little heavy weather never hurt anyone. Well, I can dig it. Nice. Very nice. So, look forward to uh, checking this one out. It's got the date on there, 12 2 So, dates on cans, always important. We'll look forward to enjoying that and doing a review as well. Hey, Sharon. Cheers. Uh, just watching the support and unbox. Well, I appreciate that. Um, and then Blake says hello to Erie. Cheers, Blake. Everybody saying hello to each other. What's up, Max? Welcome in, my brother. So just doing a little unboxing. Let me see if there's anything else in here. Oh, dude, this is crazy, yo. Yo, beer man. You ain't gotta do all this stuff, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> beer man with the, uh, the little bit of kind of the, uh, the hook up there, so... Beer Man actually sent, <laughs> oh, bottle caddy with a built-in bottle opener on it. So you can hold a six-pack in here, take it on the go with you. Nice woodwork. Wow, that, that is pretty cool. Dude, Beer Man, dog, I got to get you some stuff back. That's just awesome. And he stuck some snacks in there as well. Got the bold recipe of the snack mix, too. Dude, Beer Man is the real deal, yo. Y'all need to check him out. Show him some love. If you haven't seen the spotlight video I did with him back in the day, that was awesome. Dude. Then I got like a a boy, uh, well, I can't say a boy, a buoy uh, can opener as well. To throw in a key ring. Dude, this is freaking awesome. Um... <laughs> oh, let me see and then he put in here some other stuff and uh, he's got like a a bully t-shirt as well so you got that there from Astoria Oregon so that's there as well and let's see here he's also got a sticker which will go to the wall of stickers that I have for my beer classes and a few of the coasters as well so he's got that in there and <laughs> a cup holder a koozie which also goes to my koozie collection that I also have here so dang beer man you was you was you wasn't playing son and then uh, with this right here yo this is this is crazy Try to get the thing out of here. Dude, this right here is sick. Look at that woodwork. 
There you got the uh, can opener. It's got the Rod J Beer Ventures tag on the back that he was sending it to me. Um, dude, this is freaking awesome. So, on the go. It's like a lunch pail, baby. Throw your lunch in there. Six beers can be a lunch, right? So that's pretty sweet. It's like Christmas Day. Then, I've also got two more of these. So let's see what are in these as well. I'm trying to clean up as I go so it's not too much of a mess here. Let's take a look. Get into this one a little bit more. Oh, got a nice aroma on here too. Can you get a contact just from opening stuff? I don't know. It is almost so amazing how much bubble wrap is durable. And you would think you could rip into it with no problem, but uh. It is something. Oh, shit, man. Come on, son. It's too much. It's too much. Y'all ain't gonna believe what's in here. Not gonna believe it. Y'all need to get over the beer man's contest, dude. Crazy. And he knows, he knows that I dig Belgian ale too. And this is actually one I don't have in my collection. He sent me a pyrite glass. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. That's a sweet glass for the collection right there. For the Belgians. Look at that. That is freaking awesome. Beer man. Dude. Crazy. Like Crazy Eddie over here. And one more to go. Sealed in the Ziploc. Got to stab myself. So far I'm doing alright. This is crazy. Beer man sent me another one here, which is another brew. brew -hoo 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 -hoo. Dude. So there's another one right there to give a try to that I haven't had out of Oregon. It is the Vicious Mosquito India Pale Ale from Sun River Brewing. This one comes in at 7% ABV and west coast ipa nothing really too much else on the can but a nice one there to crack open and do a review <laughs> i like that comment blake <laughs> harder to get into the packages than it is at penn state <laughs> but a uh, couple beers here what's up dolly i'll oh, shooky shooky but wait on you rob what's going on yeah, I decided to get on here and do an unboxing from Beer Man before we do Alan's Eclectic Beer Show in a little bit. Please explain what happened with that Redbeard dude. Did something happen with Redbeard? Or was it just explaining what he was saying that night? <laughs> Let me get some of the other comments here as well. Uh, contact may have been the extra gift he sent. Oh yeah, if I played around sniffing enough of these, yeah. Um, I probably could probably get a contact on a couple of them. Uh, yeah, he did go all out for sure. I agree. Very nice. Very awesome. Uh, Beer Man definitely ain't playing. Make sure y'all do uh, check him out. If you haven't checked him out yet, like I said, I have his link in the description. And go over there and, you know, shout out and 
make sure you subscribe and um, he does these contests every week and stuff I mean he really went all out on this thing so very appreciative uh, what he has said here was not expecting nothing nothing like this Another day of styling and profiling. <laughs> he was crazy as... Yeah, well, that's Redbeard. Redbeard is always that way kind. Actually, Red was a little more subdued on our show that night. He's usually a little bit more crazier than that. So we were able to share him as a little bit more of, of a subdued version. But uh, big shout out to, again, Redbeard for coming through. Digging, digging all the stuff that he provided. All the, the glass... The beers, the coasters, the koozie, the bottle holders, the snacks, the t-shirt. It's just crazy. It's just crazy. He hooked it all up. Went all out. Much love to him. And uh, more than I, like I said, thought. And it's just cool. It's a great gesture on his part. Um... Makes me think, I need to do more stuff on my channel like this. This is freaking awesome. And Beer Man's always taking it to the next level. Again, if you haven't seen Beer Man before, I'm going to come back here. We'll go ahead and uh, roll his promo before I put this stuff away and jump off of here and get ready for the next show at 9 over on the Eclectic Beard. Just so you guys can see him one more time. And make sure, again, go check him out. Say hello and... Uh, See the stuff that he's actually doing on his channel over there as well. What should I try next? He's got the beat going and everything. Yes, my homie out there in Oregon getting it done. So, yeah, check him out. Thanks for everybody that tuned in. I want to get this stuff put away. If you haven't subscribed to the Eclectic Beard, make sure you hit him. He's here in the chat. Hit those three dots next to his name because we'll be over there in 40 minutes kicking some of the sports stuff from the football and the championships and that just took place. And I'm not talking about what else we're going to do now that college football is over, I guess. So, I don't know. We've got the Senior Bowls and stuff coming up. Maybe we'll do some, Or do we have the Senior Bowls already? I can't even remember now I think about it. Hmm. I guess we'll have to talk about it. Thanks for swinging by, everybody. I look forward to catching you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody. Oh, you didn't know? <laughs> your ass better come.